I'm just having lunch here with Joshua Loftus of Stanford University, and Joshua, you were sharing some interesting opinions you had about big data. Sure, so I would count myself perhaps among the skeptics about the notion of big data. I think that there's a bit of hype about the, about the idea right now, and that, um, well, we should remember big data is not the only game in town. There's still plenty of things to do with small data sets, plenty of studies to be done in classical settings where you don't measure tens of thousands of measurements for every person. Um, there's still lots of advancement being made constantly in areas like that, uh, but that's not big data. So what qualifies, what makes it big data as opposed to small data or medium data even? Well, per, one, the definition that I like most about this is that uh, it's large enough to be unmanageable. So like, if you can, if you can, if you have all the tools that, that deal with the data easily and conveniently and you, and you sort of know what to do with it, then it's not big. So it's like big data is almost inherently data that we don't know how to use yet. So why is there such a hype and an excitement surrounding this concept? Um, well, I think there's been a lot of success by various companies, like especially internet companies like Google and Facebook, in using their huge data sets for particular purposes. Uh, but I think that doesn't necessarily mean that the same technologies or the same kinds of successes based on large data sets will carry over into every arena of science or policy or whatever. Um, just because technology exists and is successful somewhere doesn't mean we all should be using exactly the same technology all the time. So not a one size fits all. Exactly, yes. So like one, there, someone earlier was talking about how it's now probably more costly to go through and delete things than to just buy an extra hard drive and just keep everything that you have. So for example, if you, if you take pictures with your digital camera, I always take way too many pictures and I have a lot of extra copies Me of too. things. Me <laughs> too. And then it takes a really long time to go through and pick out the best pictures and delete all the other ones. But the argument that we should just buy another hard drive because that costs less than spending our time curating it, it misses the point of when I want to look at my pictures, I want to go through and only see the ones that I want. So, you know, when I come back to this uh, gallery years from now, I don't want to again have to look through all of these extra things, right? So the, kind of the point of curation was not to save space, it was to have only the high quality things left over. And that's something that I think gets missed a lot in big data is that we, the big data is not necessarily high quality data. So quality, not quantity. Right, and another thing about such large data sets is that um, the existing, the, the tools for analyzing them, the statistical tools, often they can't handle the types of heterogeneous data that um, sort of like text on the web, things like that, sort of, it, it doesn't fit into the mathematical framework of most existing statistics. Uh, you have to do a lot of tricks and stuff just to get from this huge data set down into some uh, much more homogeneous space of you know numbers that we can actually then analyze. Well, thank you so much for adding a balanced perspective to the day. Thanks.